successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy. that sharks can mistake boats for a whale or some other large creature that doesn't really look at all like a boat. This crawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. Blah, blah, late stage capitalism. Somebody got her, right? With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Port Clovis considered removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a nickelback cover man for the 4th of July.
Groupers are capable of absorbing extreme amounts of water in their attempts to suck up prey. to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. The firm flesh barracuda makes for great steaks or fillets. Whether grilling or boiling, they're always a winner at your next dinner party. The shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Having detected her prey, the bull shark's soil system comes alive with amplified vibrations. Naturalist Thomas Kennedy inspired widespread fear of the great white with a sensationalized 1776 essay. The sea wolf has detected vibrations in the water and is searching for their source.
is a very real risk of drowning while surfing. But at least you'll leave behind a cool-looking skeleton. is able to attain large maximum sizes through selective feeding. The bull shark tracks down a seal. It's a mouthful of disgusting blubber for its efforts. While well, fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. Six hundred twenty-nine days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can take old P for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. Another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land.
consider the Gulf Stream to be the world's greatest current, but for my money, you can't beat that Kurashio. has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and dump. and quasi-legal get-rich-quick schemes set aside for now, the Sharkers get to work. in town got that mango butter facial scrub I like. Consider returning to the water. Well, 
Everyone's going home empty-handed today. Another shark hunt draws to a close. development creates a riskier, more complex local environment. sacrifices to appease the shark god, Dakiwaka. My ex's folk dog they voted painted sails. But, you know, so do a lot of other New York coolers. Discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean. Wait, is that? Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. bull sharks was made illegal in 1997. Many shark hunters get around the rule by not caring. I like this beach you and me. Got a lot 
of nice looking wealthy women. Yeah, there's a court order says I can't be within 200 feet of the beach. But you can see a lot with a good set of binoculars. Ocean is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal. But most of it exists to be exploited and commodified. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. As the terrain of the Gulf Coast is relatively flat, even a small rise in sea levels could trigger an immense loss of land. Accelerating destruction of the Gulf has occurred in tandem with a wholly humanized view of progress and of a great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Only the bull shark can challenge the great white in terms of sheer ferocity.
While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom encouraged about being summoned to Port Clovis. The Great White is often referred to as the King of the Ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Atlantic spadefish are the only members of the Ephipidae family to reside in the Atlantic Ocean.
Pete, what's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's just, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? Due to Caviar Key's increased coastal exposure, storms that had a minor impact three decades ago caused significant flooding today. discover the miracle of self-love. After losing to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler, more natural way of life. Like the caterwauling whales or the yapping dolphins, sharks are silent. The ferocious feeder has spotted its enemy. have exploded. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them.
Even after the creation of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting the artificial colors or flavors. Workers do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. It's a shame that human and shark must so often meet as enemies. Their fish fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side areas. City Council never misses an opportunity for a cross -branch. Fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver.
better at the beach. Make no mistake, those shark hunters may occasionally drink on the job. They know actually that's pretty irresponsible. <laughs> Sprouting up these past few years. Put some of my own money in this. Gonna be a laser tag fun part. If a T Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal, and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. on the Gulf waters. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. Sure, this is about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. Action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance.
sharks can locate prey from great distances using both smell and sound. underway. Better build that boardwalk higher, because you just asking for a shark attack how you got it now. But do they listen to me? No, not at all.
another bounty hunt comes to a close. Bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Most shark hunters have close friends or family members who have been eaten or half eaten by sharks. Another unsuccessful shark gun for the people of Port Clovis. Struggles mightily, gasping for oxygen. They don't give you no scholarships for winning no big air rave jam. To look at the coast is to recognize that the boundary between sea and land is transitory, and that all life on Earth is just a cosmic accident. Caviar Key provides a scenic setting for humanity's destructive impact on the natural world. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Lacking sufficient sand or protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricanes and tropical storms. Every summer, Port Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA industry.
It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. Ichthyologists have hypothesized that sharks come on shore to familiarize themselves with our habitats. detects the faint millivolt electric impulses given off by the heartbeat of its potential prey. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Accustomed to feeding on a wide variety of prey, sharks are always eager to investigate potential new food sources. Though our bull shark is unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters. Like me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier mache.
Another shark hunt draws to a close. The Greeks referred to sharks as the hounds of the sea, and this one is certainly living up to its reputation. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of tiny Americans The white and black attack. The orca.
catching spade fish can be difficult work, but the shark displays little interest in the niceties of proper food preparation. the featured attraction at marine mammal parks now have a new favorite trick, killing things. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. The ocean is a fluid and fascinating world, always changing, forever in motion. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian. 
but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers' eternally wise lobbyists. The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Hunger is a driving force for the bullshit. Of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. That about wraps it up. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear. Which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. 
The gulf is vast, 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fifth among the world's cities. Captain Vladdy sunk his treasure somewhere around here. Been funding a diving expedition every year for ten years, and I ain't found it yet. This is quite a find. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, but what can you do? Even sharks just need their dirty Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts, individuals, or homeowners associations. Sure, we could avoid catastrophic risks for future generations, but then we couldn't have 4x4 four four pickups with 5.7 liter V8 engines. Let's go to Flamingo Joe's. First my ties on me. Shock Squad, please proceed to Caviar Key. Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy company. We got a shark bounty, fellas. Let's get the Seems the first place I took him after when he got certified. spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so let's face the bounty. A shark's hatred for boats and all other creations of man is unmistakable. As the disparity between the ultra-wealthy with 24 karat gold fixtures, two discos, circular staircases, and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht.
to eat over a ton of food every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks. for the same reason we all do, to fuel the <laughs> need work. I've had campylobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, buddy, that ain't no joke. Flamingo Jones. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. man-eaters get together, only mayhem can ensue.
proves she can be dangerous at both ends. There's an old saying, the two happiest days in a sailor's life are the day he buys his boat and the day he sells it, unless it's splintered to kindling by a savage sea tiger. is the fruits of its awesome prehistoric power.
retaliate with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately tempted to stop Mother Nature's rage. Cetacean Assassin, the Sperm Whale.
days, the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. spotting their prey. The university sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. Shit. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? Hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the... Pete as a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved? You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. No, I didn't get you easy. But when some... some shark take everything I got, I give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat before I kill you too. The f*** I say! Hope you got a hunger on! We serving shark ate to fair tonight! Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark?
Hello there, girlie. As you can see, I came prepared today. Laissez les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Maneater.